Alright, I've seen a lot of people play as Deltarune mod, so I decided, hmm, why don't I give it a shot, alright? I mean, this mod looks pretty cool, has it even has its own menu and everything. Oh, wait a second. This is on Scratch. A, an entire Deltarune mod made on Scratch. Okay, has all the sprites and a lot of coding, I'm guessing? Yup, that's a lot of coding. Oh my god, it goes on forever. Hold on, let's look at another one. Chris Spray. Oh, it's a bit laggy. There we go. And oh my god. How long did this take for someone to make all of this? I mean, you can just download the actual mod, but this person has recreated their entire Deltarune mod on Scratch. Why is nobody talking about this? Hello everyone, welcome to Cattails. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this mod I found on Scratch. So, if, if you haven't heard of this already, basically, there's a very popular character in Deltarune that, well, isn't even technically a character yet. And But a bunch of the Deltarune community have come together to say that this might be one of the characters that will be released in Deltarune Chapter 3. And so there's a mod you can download on Game Jolt right now of someone's interpretation of this fight. But as you see in the background right now, you can also play this game on Scratch. And that's absolutely unbelievable. And it works really well as well. Like, like as you saw, there was a huge cutscenes and I'm and as you can see in the back of right now it plays exactly like Deltarune this is surprising now if you played Deltarune before you can obviously see some differences like for example the inclusion of the blue soul mechanic from Undertale obviously this blue soul is not visible anywhere in Deltarune plus the TP in this mod has been replaced with something called SP obviously this is because this is just a fan made game about someone's interpretation of, the, of how the mic battle might look like in chapter 3 but it's still surprising to say that this is all on scratch now if you haven't heard of scratch before let me explain so here's what scratch is it's basically just a coding website that's block based as you see here there's many kinds of blocks and you can just stick them together like this click the flag and there we go i agree with this message now the entire point of Scratch is so that anybody, just about anybody, can just make whatever they want. You don't need to have any previous coding experience, experience to use this website at all, and it's fairly easy to use. Like here I'm just going to be throwing a bunch of stuff together, hope seeing what works. Put the cap tails. whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Oh, you can just do whatever you want. It's honestly incredible. I love this website, and I think I'm having way too much fun with this, honestly. Alright, what if I get rid of this, add this, and where is it? Uh, here it is. Alright, where's the join block? Hello, space. I need another one. Here we go. Exclamation mark. Alright, where's the answer thing? And there it is. Okay. The flag. What's your name? My name is Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Um, I, I'm completely distracted. Hold on. Okay, now we're back with the project we were talking about. We're going to click this neat little button to see everything this game has to offer. Now, once we're here, the beauty of Scratch is that you can just do whatever you want with another person's project. I can move stuff around, get rid of this block of coding, add it back, move stuff around. I can even check out the sprites. We're gonna go on costumes and um, we have a purple soul now. We can actually see it in game. Look at that! It's a purple soul! New soul and. Oh, wait, no, this already exists in Until I completely forgot. I am terrible at this game. Oh my god. Alright. But yeah, see? Purple soul! This is definitely part of the mod and I did not change it at all. We can even take a look inside of other sprites and see that the CRISPR has so many sprites. Look at it all. Oh my. What if I just scribble all over the soul spray? Oh my god, this looks awful. Oh no, wait, no, I can't dodge anything. Oh no, I can't dodge anything. I am losing health at a rapid pace. 
Oh, no, 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 end, end, end. Please end, please, please, please. No, 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 I'm a one shot. Oh, oh my god, I lived. Okay, okay, change that back, change that back. We never talk about this ever again. All right, gonna draw a new heart here. Get the pink bucket, there we go. Uh, oh wait, no, the color, there we go, that's a good color. Perfect. Uh, yup, this is perfectly Deltarun, this is definitely what the Soul has always looked at this entire time. You can actually, you can actually play pretty well with that. Oh my god, no, it's this attack, I know, um, nope, I'm dead, okay, never mind. So since Scratch is entirely based on block coding, it's very hard to make complex projects such as the one that you're seeing in the background. Which is why I'm absolutely impressed that this person was able to pull this off. Uh, if you compare the gameplay in the background to an actual video from the one downloaded from Game Joel, you would see that it plays exactly the same. And if you play the mod and play the Scratch version, you would see that the controls are very similar. It, you can't even tell the difference. It's unbelievable and I'm still so surprised by this. And the way I come, came across this is because I just wanted to, I wanted to download the mod. I scrolled down the description and it said, Oh, if you can't download the mod for some reason, check out this Scratch version. I'm like, what? I'm still very shocked about this, but that's just all I wanted to talk about. Hey, look, a very good Delta Rune mod with a high effort, and you can play it on Scratch. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to quickly talk about this. And have a good rest of your day.